a Twitter from the Atlantic by Barry Mahoney. Rediscovering Radio As much as many expats such as myself enjoy living in our newly adopted countries, it is strange what we miss from our countries of origin. Lemon curd, Purcell tablets and Branston pickle are just a few of the items that I know our friends beg visitors to bring when they visit. For me, it is Marmite, mince pies and J cloths that ensure that our visitors receive a particularly warm welcome. I also miss BBC Radio News as well as radio drama. I've recently rediscovered radio, bringing with it memories of the illicit thrill of listening to pop radio stations under the bed covers late at night. The breath of fresh air that these radio stations brought the airwaves gave a new energy for youngsters such as myself growing up during those grey and often dismal times in Fenland, Lincolnshire. Later, it would be Radio 4 that I'd listen to during my long car journey to school each day. This was something that I greatly missed when we moved to Spain and the Canary Islands. Yes, I know that I can easily listen to any radio station in the world via the computer. However, sitting in front of a computer listening to radio does seem to be a very strange and uncomfortable activity and one that I soon dismissed as a complete waste of time. After all, one of the joys of radio is that you can do something else at the same time, isn't it? How I miss listening to radio plays that seem to create both colour and characterisation in my imagination in a way that film and television can never do. Just before Christmas, I ordered one of the new internet radio receivers from the UK. They're not easy to get on the island, and the Roberts radio that I wanted had particular features that were unique to the product. As long as I have a Wi-Fi internet signal, or indeed a wired internet connection, I can now listen to any radio station in the world. Radio 4, Classic FM, local radio from the Costa Blanca, as well as from my hometown of Bournemouth, are now regular features of my day. How I enjoy listening to the gritty questioning when John Humphreys challenges the Prime Minister about the latest budget cuts. Relaxing music and plays, as well as knowing that there are problems at Cemetery Junction in Bournemouth yet again, as well as hearing what the Mayor of Torrevieja is up to in Spain, help me to maintain contact with places that I still love and have happy memories of. In addition to all the thousands of radio stations that I can enjoy whatever I'm doing in the house, there's also a new, very clever feature called Last FM. This is a feature built into the radio whereby I can select my favourite genre of pop music and listen to this personal library of music without the inane interruptions and burblings from would-be DJs and radio presenters. It is pure bliss. I hasten to add that I also listen to Canary Islands news as well as Spanish news, but I tend to pass on the rest. After all, there are only so many TV quiz shows and reality television programmes that any relatively sane person can take. Yes, you can take the Brit out of Britain, but it's hard to take Britain out of the Brit. If you enjoyed listening to this Twitter, please have a look at my website, www.barrymahoney.com. Thank you for listening.